Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and we are here to, or I am here to do your daily vibes for Thursday, August 9th. This is for all signs. Um, it's just a daily energy, what I'm picking up on today. Now, you know, time is an illusion. It really is. So whatever is whenever this resonates with you this could have happened could be happening now could be happening later whatever okay um we're gonna get a couple of oracle cards see what comes up oh we got two separation Time apart from your partners on the horizon. <laughs> Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So contradictory, huh? Maybe it's express your love to yourself by separating from something that doesn't serve you. I mean, that could certainly be the case. Maybe there's been a separation and now you're being called to express your love elsewhere. This could go so many different ways. Maybe there's been a separation and now it's time to uh, reunite. That just came into my head. I don't know who that's for. Hmm, this is about a relationship. Relationships. Relationships are just mirror images of your own life. How you feel and treat yourself, as well as, as, well as how you react and respond to different situations and people around you. Be aware that every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. So this is definitely about relationship. Interesting. There's been a separation, or there's going to be a separation, because love is desired. Real, true love is desired. You know, maybe somebody has learned something, and now it's time to express. That could certainly be the case. Usually, it, it takes a separation for somebody to learn. You know, you never know. Usually, that's the case. Sometimes you have to separate from an abusive or unrequited situation, you know, so that you can you can find that love you deserve, whatever the case is for you. How you feel and treat yourself as well as well as how you react and respond to different situations and people people around you. Hmm. Every relationship is an opportunity for soul growth. Somebody has, has gone through some sort of growth, whether they are still with this person or not. You know, the soul has changed. You know, it's evolved. Two of Wands reversed. There could be a sudden, uh, sudden decision, you know, to leave or to stay or to take action. To close the door, perhaps, a sudden, because you see the doors. This is, would be upright. They're good, you know, upright would be a new door is opening, a new path is opening. Somebody could be closing a door, deciding to suddenly. I'm right. I want to close this. I want to separate. I want to, you know, I deserve better than this. Whatever the case is, but you know, this could be a very a sudden, a sudden decision. Oh, Jennifer, you must have flipped your deck. You must have made them all upright and did that on purpose. Jennifer doesn't arrange the deck in any way, ever. When it comes, I start flipping them just like this, and they never go back to all upright, just so you know, ever. I don't go around rearranging the deck.
sometimes people, they want the reading to be for them so bad that they'll do anything to, to say, you know, no, 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 it's something you did. Really? What's my stake? What's my, what's my, uh, reward for doing that? I mean, come on now. It's common sense, people. Like, I could really, why the hell would I give a shit, honestly? About your life. I mean, no offense. I'm not, I don't want anybody to get hurt, but why would I want them to be all reversed? That's a fucking joke. I'm just saying. Anyway, um... Let's get back to business here. Let's get back to business. And you know, that's every word that comes out of my mouth during a reading. It's for you. I'm an intuitive. I do want to bring up one other thing before we get going. I did get a comment yesterday that said, um, somebody tried to tell me what the meaning of the devil card means. The card means this. <laughs> That's one closed off mind right there. The messages come from above. The messages come from intuition. The cards are a tool. And you will not succeed if you just go by the book. That's a message for everybody. You have to follow your intuition. You have to follow your heart. You have to follow that little inner voice inside that tells you what you are seeing, what you are hearing. You need to listen. It's not about what is written in the book. It's not about what somebody else told you it was. It's about you listening to the message that you are receiving. The cards are a tool. So, we shall start. It appears that somebody is thinking about closing a door. And they may suddenly decide to do it after they have postponed for quite some time. They have may have felt a lack of, of strength to do so. But now it feels as though they have been enlightened awakened and perhaps they are starting to have faith in who they are believe in themselves listen this is listening to your inner guide believing in yourself replacing that fear with faith this is strong faith the hierophant card i am committed to following my path i am committed to listening i am committed To doing the right thing for me for me somebody has been hanging around stuck in limbo undecided sacrificing themselves in a situation that wasn't right that's not right that had no growth and they know they has that it has no growth they may have been dealing with a Debbie Downer Somebody that wasn't well suited for them. Somebody that was a naysayer and had nothing good to say, you know, and misery loves company. Bringing them down with them. Somebody that was really hurting them emotionally. You could have been, been, even been dealing with some sort of abuse, mental abuse. Um, physical, mental, verbal, emotional, whatever. Bully, bully type of behavior. There is a feeling that, you know, somebody has been very, you're dealing with somebody who's very arrogant. Um, and so I feel as though that's why this separation card has come up. Somebody has been sacrificed themselves too long for, for a situation or a person that wasn't putting in any effort and knew it all. You know, you were, this was a situation in which... I can't, you can't win. I can't, I can't win. There's no equal ground here. That's, I mean, yeah, you got, there's somebody that has a huge ego. 
and all deserving. I deserve, but I can't give. It's mine. It's all mine. Mine, 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 mine. So it feels as though there's a there's one person in this dynamic that has been very, very manipulative in a in a very cunning way, like hard to really see it, but you know it. You know, your inner guide is like, I know this isn't right, but this is so cunning. So somebody has been dealing with a very, very cunning individual who, you know, the glass is half empty and it's like they they have no intention of filling up that glass because they're very comfortable with that life. So I feel as though there's somebody in this dynamic that has held somebody back and somebody is, is thinking about closing that door, going to, going towards a new a new path, stepping out of this darkness. They feel, you know, they've been awakened, they've been enlightened, they've hung around, they've thought about it. A new perspective has all of a sudden uh, surfaced inside of them and now they're starting to believe in themselves and follow their own path and cut this person out. I think somebody is going to be cut out. I do. Somebody is about to be cut out. Because there's been some dishonesty here. Somebody has been so cunning. I'm surprised we don't have the magician here. Reversed, because this is what I feel. Somebody's been dealing with somebody that is so sly. That it was hard to see. It was really hard to see. This was a, a master. But it feels as though, you know... Somebody's going to see it. Somebody's just a little bit stronger. Some, you know, the one that the one that was being lied to, deceived, because there's some there's some kind of like mental abuse here. Very very sly. But we have the Empress and the Hierophant. This is this is love. This is self love. This is abundance. This is birth. This is a person who walks in purpose, knows her worth, his or her worth, and gets the hell out with the chariot right next. So I feel like the, uh, there's a, been a situation in which somebody is, is maybe deciding, you know, it's on the fence. Somebody is sitting on the fence right now. Or they've gotten off the fence either way from somebody that is very arrogant, egotistical, Sly, cunning, sneaky, um, abusive in a super, super fly way. I mean, unbelievable. This person thinks they're getting away with it. <laughs> I got you wrapped right around my little finger. Because you can't see what I'm doing. But the fact of the matter is, you can. You can see what they're doing. And I feel as though, you know, you may have been blinded by the light for a minute, but I don't, I don't think that's the case. I think that right now somebody's on the fence about, you know, stepping out of their pride because there's a lot of pride here. You know, when you try to make something work and then it doesn't work out, the pride, the ego is affected. There's an ego card. That is a pride ego card. We got to look at them in every aspect. Somebody decides to swallow their pride. And stop hanging on to something that is very negative. So anyway, because it is, you're dealing, somebody is very negative. Um, you could be dealing with an air sign or a fire sign. Um, I'm not sure. But anyway, somebody, and then it, it, it shifts. And that's where we get express your love. So I mean, we might as well just go just like this. I mean, seriously. I mean, separation right here. Express your love right here. Somebody, you know, realizes that they can be enlightened. They wake up. I wake up. I see the light. I believe. I see the light. You see the light. I believe in myself. I, I know what this is. I know this isn't right. I know it's not true. And they take the sword to cut something out. This this naysayer, this negative Nancy. 
because I love myself. This is self-love. I want abundance in my life. I know what I'm worth. This is the, the Empress. She knows what she's worth. She doesn't have to chase people or opportunities. They chase her because she is so bright. Taurus. And then we have the chariot. Moving on. Replacing fear with faith. I'm out of here. I'm moving on. To express my love elsewhere. I deserve love. Express my love to myself. Somebody is finding the strength to master their emotions and treat themselves with self-love. So there's a rebirth here, a renewal. So I feel like today is a day of somebody actually listening to their inner guide. You know, we started this reading out for a reason. That we, every word that comes out is was meant to come out. Listening to their inner guide to do what's right for them. To realize what is best for me. What am I worth? The Empress knows what she is worth. And she will not settle for less. She won't settle, period. So I feel as though there is there is some some movement that is happening away from a negative situation so that love can be expressed. You know, somebody could be even if somebody is already in Empress mode, somebody could be headed in their direction. So I feel like today is a day of perhaps making a sudden decision to leave a situation that is not healthy, put it that way. Somebody has, has awakened. So, yeah. That's, I mean, that's what I have. I'm not going to go any further. There's victory and success at the end of all of this. The very last card. Victory and success after the, the, the birth of something new. So yeah, I feel like today is, is a day of, of following your intuition and removing any kind of distraction or negativity or circumstance that doesn't serve you from the equation. Separating yourself from it. And once you do that, victory and success will come to your life. This is a transformation card. The chariot is a transformation card. It's a card of transformation. Where love can be expressed freely. So yeah, this is what I have. Talk to you all later.